Hello, hello, and welcome. This is day two of the birth charts training. Today we're going to be talking about planets. Um, I'm going to see if I am live in the Facebook real quick. <laughs> if you're here with me, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Um, <laughs> Chris, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um, this will likely also be cross-posted to the YouTube. So if you are here viewing the YouTube video, welcome as well. Um, I am so excited to be here with you guys today. I'm curious as you guys are popping in, how did the training go for you guys yesterday? Have you printed out your birth chart? Here's mine. My, I even have a printout of it. Um, were you able to um, look at anything on your birth chart yet? Have you noticed anything on your birth chart yet? I'm really excited to hear how all of that's going for you guys. Chris says, great. Hi, Christy. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um, so anyway, yes, that's the big thing. I want to know if you guys have your birth charts because today we're going to be kind of looking at them a little bit. It's okay if you don't have them. Um, but at the same time, if you do have them, that's going to be, um, you're going to be able to, to look at a few things as we are, um, as we're going through the planets today. Hi, Lana. Hi, Sid. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. Today is day two of the training for birth charts. Um, I think real quick before we get started, I'd love to kind of give the same disclaimer I gave yesterday, just in case there's anybody here um, that wants to go through this training that wasn't here yesterday. Um, I am not an expert in birth charts. <laughs> birth charts is something I'm learning. Um, and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys what I'm learning. Um, so I'm definitely not an expert, but if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, even if I don't know the answer, I can really do my best to help you find the answer. Um, also, at the end of this training, I want to bring in some more experts, um, some ways for you to dig in deeper to this if you'd like to. Um, so just so you know, I'm not an expert in this yet. This is just something that I'm learning and I'm just sharing what, what I'm learning uh, myself uh, with you. So Chris says my birth chart looks like a hot mess. Janae, welcome, welcome. How are you doing, Janae? Um, <laughs> I feel like anytime I've looked at a birth chart, it, it does look like a hot mess because you're like, what is all of this? There's all this stuff and all these lines. And, and hopefully I'm going to, we're going to clear up a little bit of that hot mess today. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking that this training is going to be a little bit shorter than yesterday. I'm going to shoot for about 30 minutes. Yesterday we were on for 45. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, let me share my presentation. And it's going to take me just a second because I want to make sure that everything is showing properly before we get started. Make sure that I'm sharing the right screen. <laughs> okay. Janae, have you printed out your, uh, your birth chart yet? Do you have your birth chart in front of you? Um, just kind of checking in. Have you guys printed it out? Do you guys have a copy to check in with? today as we go along in this trading. So here is a sample birth chart. I let it slip. This is my birth chart. <laughs> I was, I was going to try to keep that a secret yesterday, but that didn't really work out very well. So here's a sample birth, birth chart and what we're going to be talking about today. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about the signs. So the signs are right here on this outer ring. And today we're going to be talking about the planets. So each one of these symbols, um, represents a planet. There's also the true node and the Chiron, and we're going to talk about those today as well. 
not necessarily planets, but they're, they kind of appear like a planet. So I went ahead and I put them in this training. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, the planets do uh, or are associated with um, different signs. And so you can kind of see here that um, there's, there is some association here. And we're not really going to talk about that today, but we're going to talk about the signs and how they show up on your birth chart. Okay or the planets, sorry, the planets and how they show up on your birth chart. I didn't, but I'm pulling it up now. Yay. Okay. Perfect. Um, yes. Uh, towards the end of this, this, uh, training, you'll want to, if you, if at all possible, you'll want to have your birth chart. In you. And I know that there were a couple of people yesterday who were concerned about not having their birth time. You can still pull up your birth chart. And I think, don't quote me on this guys, but I think the only thing that's going to be different if you have the wrong time is your ascendant or your rising sign. So please feel free to print it up without the time or, you know, just with a random time. And um, you'll still have most of these. Um, in fact, I don't even have the ascendant or the rising on this list, um, but we'll go ahead and talk about it and we'll cover it, you know, kind of in this time too. It's like Chiron and True Note. It's not like an actual planet, um, but it is a, um, it is on, on the birth chart. Okay. So let's get started. So each of these planets means something, right? It, it holds within it a specific energy. So for example, you'll see that the sun is the ego, the identity, the authenticity, pride, your outward expression, right? And so most of us know our sun signs. This is where the sun was at in the sky, like wh which season it was in where the sun was in the sky when we were born. Um, and so most of us know our sun sign. This is how we express ourselves. This is how we view ourselves within the world. Um, and so most of us know where this is at already. And then next we have the moon sign. The moon is all about our emotions, our subconscious, our intuition, our self, our magic, our emotional self, right? Our magic. Um, the Venus is all about beauty, love, relationships, pleasure, material, prosperity, right? And, and the relationships here are usually romantic relationships. Um, Pluto is all about letting go. It's about transformation. It's about power, psychic power and uh, psyche. Jupiter is the um, energy of expansive growth, higher thinking, luck, abundance, Mercury has the energy of communication. Um, that's why when we say Mercury is in retrograde, we're finding it hard to communicate, right? Because Mercury appears to be going backwards. Um, so it makes it harder to communicate. Um, Neptune is all about oneness, dreams, hopes, creativity, and fantasy. Um, we're gonna skip Chiron and True Node for right now. Saturn is about boundaries time, initiation, cycles, responsibility. Um, one of the keywords that I really like for Saturn is actually karmic responsibility. Hi, Heather. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. So uh, yeah, I really like to think of Saturn as karmic responsibility. Um, Uranus is all about awakening, change, revolution, innovation. Mars is kind of the warrior planet. It's about the energy, action, ambition, right? Um, and then what's not on here is our rising sign, our ascendant. This is all about how we present ourselves to the world. So just know that on your guide, it's not going to have Chiron, True Node, or the rising sign. So if you guys want to take notes on that right now, the rising sign is all about how we present ourselves to the world. It's almost like the mask or how others see us. I'm going to give you guys just a second to write that down. You may also want to take note of Chiron and the true node because that is not on the guide. So Chiron is all about our core wounds. It's all about our pain and our healing and what we're going to be facing in terms of healing throughout our lifetime.
And then lastly, the true node, the north node. Um, so it will e either say true node or north node on your birth chart. This is your karmic path. And so really throughout our lifetime, one of our main goals is to move from those south node qualities, which may come really easy for you, to more of the north node qualities. And I did talk about that in more depth um, a couple months ago in the monthly video um, as we were in um, eclipse season. And so uh, we're really paying attention to those nodes during eclipse season. Okay, so these kind of talk about the energies of the planets, right? And so um, the way I learned it, and I think it's kind of cute, is that the signs flavor the planets. And so go ahead and pull out your birth chart. I'm going to show you mine real quick. And so here are all of the planets. And if you wanted to, you could compare these symbols here with the symbols on your astrology wheel, or you could also look at them depending on, you know, where, where you printed, oh goodness, depending on where you printed your um, birth chart, they're here on the birth chart as well. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much, Sid. Um, okay, so when we're looking at our birth chart, all of the planet symbols are here. You can see here's Chiron right here. You can see Saturn. You can see um, uh, this one is Jupiter, Jupiter and Saturn and Pluto. So you can kind of see all of them showing up in their certain places. So what I want you to do is go ahead and look at your um, your birth chart. It's so neat, right, Heather? So look at your birth chart and look for the symbol of the sun. And then also look at the symbol of the placement of the sun. So you can see right here, my sun is in Capricorn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this with a couple different planets. And so from here, I'm sorry, I lost my presentation. Now it's just a PDF. Um, from here, you can see that I have my sun in Capricorn. So you can do the same thing with your sun. And what I like to do is take like a keyword or maybe even a couple keywords. So the sun is all about identity, right? It's all about ego. And so I chose the word identity for this, um, I guess, equation. <laughs> so what I wrote here is my sun, the identity, plus Capricorn, which is typically about work or uh, being driven, having that purpose. Um, someone who may identify with structure, stability, and their work or career. So how I got that, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, and I did not, let me stop sharing. I didn't leave um, the signs in this presentation. But what I did is I took from Capricorn where it says structure, stability, logic, work, and finances, right? That's kind of all of the keywords of Capricorn. Um, let me view this. Okay, it's, it's viewing better now. Um, screen two. Okay, so I took all of these from Capricorn and I took a look at them and I said, okay, my identity um, revolves around my work, right? Sun plus Capricorn, my identity revolves around my work. So someone who may identify with structures to stability and their work or career. So I'm wondering, is this making sense for you guys? Sarah, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh no, Sarah, I search for the video. I hope you're able to watch the replay of the beginning parts. Okay, so let me know if this is making sense for you. Um, I would love to hear your sun sign um, and what sentence you come up with when you let your sign flavor the planet sun. Yes, these examples are so helpful. Awesome. I'd love for 
one person to share their sun sign statement, just like a little, a little statement, kind of putting the two together. I can tag you in it, Sarah, when we're done. Heather says, this is so helpful. I love it. I'm just going to give you guys a couple minutes to work on your own. This might be the easiest one for you because you've probably contemplated your sun sign quite a bit already. Anybody want to share theirs? There we go. Sid shared shared their sun sign. So sun plus Virgo equals sun identity plus Virgo service and healing. Someone who may identify with serving and healing. Yes, I love that, Sid. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you these other two. So these come directly from my birth chart. Um, so let's take a look at Neptune. So let's go back. So you can see my Neptune is in Sagittarius. Um, and so you can see it here, like in the little chart. And you can also look for the Neptune symbol and notice that it's in Sagittarius right here. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I like the astrology wheel so much is because it has all of these symbols on it. And we can actually take a look at that wheel to like learn more about Sagittarius. You know what I mean? Um, but okay, so we've got, we've got Neptune in Sagittarius. So now we come back down here. Neptune is dreams and visions. So we come here and we look at Neptune. Neptune's dreams, hope, creativity, fantasy, visions, oneness, right? So with my Neptune in Sagittarius, Sagittarius is all about knowledge and expansion. I can say that someone whose Neptune is in Sagittarius may be inspired by knowledge and travel. Does that make sense to everybody? Let me know. Ooh, Janae shared Capricorn same and also maybe identify with traditions. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Janae. Yeah, the logic too. The logic comes up with Capricorn. I definitely feel like I identify with my logical side a lot. So yes, yes, yes. Great job. Love the examples. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the third and last example that I gave. And that is Saturn, where my Saturn is in Virgo. So let's take a look. We've got Saturn here in Virgo. You see this? So we can see here where it tells us that it's in Virgo. And we can also see it here on the chart. Okay, so I'm going to start with Saturn. And Saturn is all about boundaries, time, initiation cycles. And like I said, one of the things that I really love about Saturn is karmic responsibility. So it's almost like we feel like it's our duty in the world. Um, this could be cycles of our life, how we feel about the cycles of our life, um, how we feel about boundaries and time um, could also be some things that come up. Um, so we've got 
the personal responsibility. So I put Saturn responsibility plus Virgo, which I really like service and healing for. Um, in, in the guide, Virgo says healing service, efficiency, presentation, and order. There's a lot of organization with Virgo, right? And so my responsibility, my karmic responsibility is to serve and to heal in an organized fashion, right? So I put someone who feels like their karmic responsibility is to serve and heal. My Neptune and Saturn are also in Capricorn. I know you told me that, Janae. That is, that is amazing. And those are the two that I chose. How funny is that? Um, so you can say like my dreams and visions may be um, very much focused on my work or focused on um, stability, right? You could say my karmic responsibility is to work hard. It's to, you know, um, to be successful in my work, maybe. I'm curious how you feel like all three of those sh show up for you, Janae. <clears throat> and so what I'd love for you to do I feel like that's really all that I wanted to cover today. Like I said yesterday, I feel like one of the ways cosmic expansion is going to be so good when it comes to our own personal birth charts is that it's going to help us really tune in and tap in to these different energies. Um, we're going to be able to explore all of these signs. We're going to be able to explore what that feels like when the moon is in a certain sign, when the sun is in a certain sign, you know, as we grow and as my knowledge with astrology grows, we might even add more in about the aspects and things like that. Um, and so I'm really excited about, you know, what this means for the future um, of the membership and also uh, everybody who's already signed up. So if you're signed up for the membership, like drop some emojis in the comments. I'm so excited to get started, guys. It's five days away. Um, but what I want to do to close out is just, if you can, if you haven't put in, put one of your um, sentences, um, one of one of your flavoring of your planets, right? If you haven't put that in the comments yet, I want you even after I end this live video to go ahead and put one sentence for one of your planets uh, down below. And some homework would be to like maybe tap into three of these planets on your birth chart just to kind of get started flavoring your planets with the signs. And then tomorrow, it's really, look at all these emojis. <laughs> Everybody's so excited about the membership. Um, okay, so um, tomorrow there will be no birth chart training, but Sunny Shay King will be here in the group with us. We're gonna celebrate the coming of spring. We're gonna talk about um, uh, Asana. Um, Sunny knows much more about Asana than I do. Uh, and we're going to talk about spring solstice. We're going to talk about some ways to like celebrate spring. And Sunny is a yoga teacher. She, so she's going to walk us through some yin poses. So if you can um, come to the spring event in some comfy closes to maybe go into some yoga postures, it's not going to be anything really crazy or super flowy, um, but it's going to be some a nice way to kind of even physically welcome in spring if you guys want to participate in that. Anyway, thank you so much for being here with me. Thanks for sharing um, the fun of like digging into our birth charts with me. I really appreciate you guys every day. If you are, are just uh, becoming acquainted with me and what I've been doing, I'm also live on TikTok every single morning. We um, we read from a book, we do a little meditation, and I do free oracle card pulls. So you're welcome to always join us. My TikTok at is Sunny Sync, S U N N Y S I N K. Um, we'd love to see you there for the morning class as well. Thank you guys for being here, and I will see you guys tomorrow, either in the morning <laughs> for the meditation or maybe for the spring um, celebration. You're so welcome, guys. You guys are amazing. Sid says that sounds so fun. Everybody is excited about the membership. You guys are awesome. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow.